Yeah, yeah, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Devon Toro in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon Raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys why some of your vocals may sound thin. And the trick that I'm gonna show you is probably gonna feel like voodoo, being that I am not going to boost anything on an EQ at all. Okay, let's get right to it. So long story short, I'm gonna play you a vocal. Uh, I'm gonna play it without anything on it or anything of that nature. Let me make sure that I'm good. And just get an idea of what this vocal sounds like. So listen close. Drop everything and just stay with me. The rules have changed and we can never leave, so. Why don't you sit up in the crib with me? Get up in the boat, please, yeah. So that vocal doesn't have any EQ on it or anything of that nature. It's just pretty much just a raw vocal just coming in like you would record. Say for instance that your issue was, ah, I would like more body out of that vocal. I'd like it to not sound so thin, right? Okay, now before we go any further, I'm gonna ask you guys to comment, like, subscribe to keep this channel going at any time during this video. You can visit info for some of our presets, templates, vocal chain, etc. A bunch of dope goodies on that site to keep this channel going and to support. Now back to the tutorial. So long story short, what I wanna do is, I've already said to myself, I don't like the way the vocal sounds. I, I feel like it's thin. I want more body out of this vocal. I want it to sound warmer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on over here to an EQ. You can use whatever EQ that you go to, one of your favorite EQs. What I'm gonna do is, or what the issue really is, is it's your perception is off. And what I mean when I say your perception is off is that the way our brains work when it comes to audio in general is that when something is louder, our brain typically pays attention to that stronger. It takes a precedent over everything else. Louder will come out to you and sound louder, or you'll pay more attention to the louder sound, um, and that's the way your brain works. So, when it comes to a frequency spectrum or a sound source like a vocal, there are frequencies. Now, within this frequency range of the vocal, high end, low end, mid range, there are certain frequencies that are louder than other frequency ranges. So what's happening here is this. Your brain is paying attention to the frequencies that are louder as opposed to the frequencies that are lower. So your brain will pay more attention to those frequencies that are louder in the mix. So what you can do to accomplish a warmer sound or a sound that doesn't sound as thin is you can take out those frequencies that are jarring to the ear, that are louder, to help the perception of a vocal or a sound source for that matter, that sounds warmer, that feels like it has more body. I will show you, stay with me. Okay, so I'm gonna take this EQ right here and I'm gonna automatically just go to the three kilohertz range because that range right there is a primary range and that can make your vocal feel really tinny, thin um, and just lack body for the most part because there's so much of that frequency range in a lot of our mics coming in. So check out, I'm gonna EQ this whole thing. I'm gonna go through the entire process of what I would do and then I'll explain after. Let's do it. Drop everything and just stay with me. The rules have changed and we can never leave, so. Why don't you sit up in the crib with me? Get up in the boat, please, yeah. Wake up and it's not a dream, yeah. I wanna do it all with you. I'm so certain and I'm never nervous. We've been through a lot, baby. Think we both deserve it. This is the opportunity, baby. Don't curve it. Ain't nobody in the world working, so we can keep working each other. Eat, sex, rest, drink, do it all again. And we don't want our friends to find us. We can leave the world behind us, oh. Drop everything and just stay with me. The rules have changed and we can never leave, so Why don't you sit up in the crib with me? Get up and never up, please, yeah Wake up and it's not a dream, yeah I wanna do it all with you I'm Okay, now I want you to listen closely as I bypass this thing back and forth and I want you to tell me, perception-wise, which one feels more tinny, more thin, more just annoying to your ear. Check this out. Without first. I'll bypass it back and forth. Drop everything and just stay with me. The rules have changed and we can never leave, so. Why don't you sit up in the crib with me? Get up in the boat, please, yeah. 
Wake up and it's not a dream, yeah. I wanna do it all with you. I'm so certain and I'm never nervous. We've been through a lot, baby. Think we both deserve it. This is the opportunity, baby. Don't curve it. Ain't nobody in the world working, so we can keep working each other. Eat, sex, rest, drink, do it all again. And we don't want our friends to find us. We can leave the world behind us. And on that part where it says we can leave the world, you can feel like it has <laughs> it feels like it has a little bit more body. It feels like Basically, my ears are not hurt or jarred by that three kilohertz frequency range, by that 800 frequency range, and I managed to even play with you guys and roll off some low end on it. And then what I do it was I matched the volumes. I boosted it back up because we took some of those frequency ranges out. So now it left room for me to be able to bring it up. So what happened just now in trying or basically getting some more body or some more, um, uh, uh, a more, just a better vocal that didn't feel as thin, didn't feel as thin, not sounded, but didn't feel as thin, is this. When I'm cutting out that three kilohertz frequency, that 700 uh, frequency range, that low end, what's happening is I'm dipping those frequencies out. And as I'm dipping those frequencies out, now when I boost those frequencies that I dipped out, won't be boosted as much off the strength of the other stuff that I left alone, that, that frequency range as far as the low end or 200 to 600 hertz, will be boosted without any attenuation. So now I'm boosting the 200 to 600 hertz range like this. It's just going up when I'm turning up the volume of it, turned up the volume. Now when it comes to the three kilohertz stuff, I cut some of that. So now that I've cut it, when I boost the volume, it's boosting, but not as if it was it was not cut. Instead, it's cut and it's boosted. So the rest of everything else is getting boosted and it's becoming louder and more presentful than the stuff that you cut. So now you have a vocal that is, you're getting some more of that low end stuff, um, but at the same time, you're getting rid of some of that other sound sonically that make your vocal sound tinny and thin. And this is where it comes in. Basically, it's a perception and that's what you're playing with. I didn't boost anything. Now, granted, I can go down to the low end stuff and I can boost that to give me more body now, but, what I did first was I subtractive EQ'd and what that allowed me to do was get rid of those frequencies that give me the perception of thinness. Now, if you took this vocal and added high into it without EQing out some of that 3K and some of that 700 Hertz and stuff like that, it would have made it sound even thinner. But now that I've taken out those frequencies that give me the perception of tinny thinness, uh, too narrow, it, it, it allows me to have more space to be able to boost the high end so that it feels a little bit more uh, like it has an image, like a very nice stereo image. So when it comes to your vocal sounding thin, usually or sometimes what you can do besides just boosting in the area that to give you body like a 400 hertz or in those areas, you can subtractive EQ the frequency ranges out that give you the perception of thinness, like the three kilohertz range. For instance, one last thing I'll show you is, I'm gonna boost the three kilohertz range and let you hear what it actually is within your vocal. Check this out. Drop everything and just stay with me. The rules have changed and we can never leave, so. Why don't you sit up and crib me? Get up, nip up, please. Yeah. You see, as I boost that thing up, or just extremely, sh just show you an extreme case, it feels like the vocal just gets more narrow and more tinny. And this is another way to understand your EQ in a sense that certain frequency ranges make or give you the perception of certain stereo imaging qualities. That boosting of that three kilohertz gives, gives me a more narrowing sound. When I say narrowing, it makes it feel more center, more mono kind of vibes, as opposed to when I take it out, it feels like it kind of spreads open and it gets a little wider and it gets a little bit warmer sounding and it, the perception of it gets a little bit lighter on my ear. So to wrap this up, next time that you're trying to approach, why do my vocals sound so thin? Try subtractive EQing some of the frequency ranges that are giving you the perception of thinness as opposed to just boosting what you want as far as the body and as far as that bottom. I can get so much more body out of this vocal now that I've taken out those problems by boosting, but as far as me attacking the issue, I attack the issue first, now I'll boost. So that was my tutorial on why and how, or basically how to attack 
thin vocals. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon on the Instagram. And also make sure you visit helpmedevon.info at any time so that you can get some of our vocal chains presets and um, a bunch of other really dope goodies at any time. Also make sure that you follow us at on our Discord community with a bunch of individuals like yourselves giving information, game, and all kinds of tips and tricks. So to wrap this up, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and until next time, you guys. <laughs>